Mount Lu is indeed precipitous, safeguarding the northern land. The sacred temple stands formidable, blessing nearby people and objects. Craggy yet picturesque, Mount Niwo Lu, located in Jinzhou City, Liaoning Province, towers aloft at the edge of the Liaoxi Plain. It is better known as Beijing one of the five strongholds for state sacrifices dedicated to worshipping major mountains and rivers in ancient China. At the eastern foot of the mountain stands a sacred ancient temple named Beijing Temple, where emperors used to perform ritual sacrifices to the deity of Mount Yu Lu. The temple covers an area of about 50,000 square meters and hosts the only extant and almost intact ancient architectural complex among the five stronghold temples. A stronghold refers to a great mountain that serves to safeguard its nearby region. The phrase, four strongholds and five march mounts, appears in a record of the rites of Zhou without specifying the names of these mountains. In the same text, Another record lists Mount Iwu Yu in Yojo as one of the nine states and nine stronghold mountains. Yet the term stronghold here is rather ambiguous. It only refers to the paramount mountain of each state. The Han scholar Zheng Xuan divided the nine stronghold mountains into five march mounts and four strongholds. However, Zheng nearly relied on the first record without actual textual support. Since there has been a scholarly consensus that the rites of Zhou was compiled between the Warring States period and the early Han Dynasty, the idea of four strongholds likely originated from Han Confucian scholars. In 61 BC, Emperor Xuan of the Han established the ritual sacrifices dedicated to the five march mounts and four waterways as regular rites for worshipping mountains and rivers. Up to the period of Wei, Qin, and the northern and southern dynasties, various stronghold mountains were often incorporated into the ritual practice, including Mount Yi. In 594, Emperor Wen of the Sui was the first to officially establish temples for stronghold mountains, appointing Mount Yi as the eastern stronghold, Mount Wu as the western stronghold, Mount Guiji as the southern stronghold, Mount Yi Wu Yi as the northern stronghold, and Mount Huo as the Jizhou stronghold. Mount Huo was not yet named the central stronghold. The Tang dynasty inherited the tradition of the Sui dynasty and continued to perform ritual sacrifices to the four strongholds, forming a distinct ritual system consisting of five march mounts, four strongholds, four seas, and four waterways, while Mount Huo was not included in this system. In 968, during the early Song Dynasty, Mount Huo was added to form five strongholds, albeit for a very short time. The system was later restored in 981, resulting in a tradition of worshipping the five march mounts, five strongholds, four seas, and four waterways that lasted until the Qing Dynasty. In court rituals for honoring earth 
in heaven. Mount Iwulu remains an integral part of worshipping the Earth Deity. Government officials at both the court and local levels were mandated to offer sacrifices at Beijing Temple each year, and imperial commissioners were also sent here to pray for major state affairs. In 751, Emperor Xuan the Tang granted the title Duke of Grand Peace to Mount Yiwu. In 1113, Emperor Hui of the Song additionally conferred the title King of Grand Peace upon the mountain. In 1298, Mount Yiwu received the title King of Virtuousness and Grand Peace from Emperor Cheng of the Yuan. In 1370, Emperor Taizu of the Ming removed all given titles of march mounts, strongholds, seas, and waterways, and renamed the deity of Beijing as the deity of Beijing, Mount Yiwulu. Mount Yiwulu is regionally based in northeast China and has always been the residence of many multi-ethnic inhabitants. The Liao royal house regarded Mount Yiwulu as their place of origin. Emperors frequently visited here, and many royal mausoleums were built here. When royal families made an offering to their ancestors, they also performed ritual sacrifices to Beijing concurrently. Emperors of the Jin, Yuan, and Ming continued to rebuild and extend the temple. During the Qing Dynasty, Mount Yiwu Liu played a significant role in the initial exploitation of the Northeast. Emperor Kangxi, Yongzheng, Qianlong, Jia Qing, Dao Guang all toured in Shenyang and made ritual offerings to Beijing a total of 11 times, producing approximately 100 poems and pieces of prose. Emperor Kangxi even wrote an essay entitled Mount Changbai is the origin of Mount Tai, in which he records that Mount Changbai, Mount Yiwu and Mount Tai share the same origin, as do the Manchurian and Han Chinese in the Northeast and Central Plains. Ever since its last major reconstruction in 1892, Beijing Temple has endured a period of eclipse and ruin for nearly a century. However, compared to other temples of the Five Strongholds, Beijing Temple fortunately preserves a relatively intact architectural complex from the Ming and Qing dynasties. The main structures on its central axis are generally well preserved, but the auxiliary buildings on its two flanks and the imperial palace are long gone. Since the 1980s, state and local administrations of cultural heritage have made numerous efforts to restore this ancient temple to its original appearance. Let us now take a closer look at this old temple. There are seven halls on the central axis in the following order. The Mountain Gate, the Hall of the Celestial Horses, the Hall of Incense Preparation, the Main Hall, the Dressing Hall, the Hall of Incense Receiving, and the Sleeping Chamber. In front of the Mountain Gate lies a long, newly renovated slope. From this vantage point, one has an unimpeded view of the entire city of Beijing. Near the gate, there is a recently restored Qing-style archway, in front and back of which stand two pairs of guardian lions, weathered but still lifelike. The gate itself is decorated with cyan-glazed tiles, vermilion walls, and a plaque that reads, Beijing Temple. 
Behind the gate, one finds a courtyard strewn with old trees. On the east and west sides of the courtyard are building foundations, upon which used to stand reception rooms. Crossing the courtyard, one finds the hall of the celestial horse. Because the Liaxi corridor had always been a place of great military value, the presence of the hall of the celestial horse is just another indication of Beijing's strategic importance. Stepping inside, there is a newly restored statue of the horse god accompanied by its servant. On the sides of the hall are a bell tower and a drum tower, both of which are still under reconstruction. Exiting the hall of the celestial horse, one finds four newly constructed pavilions, which preserve four steles from the Qing dynasty. Behind the hall stand about 20 pre-modern steles, with inscriptions written by emperors or literati. On a platform in the courtyard lies the Hall of Incense Preparation, which stored incense for state sacrifices. To the north of the Hall of Incense Preparation is the main hall, where sacrificial ceremonies to the mountain deity were performed. First built in 1421 during the Ming Dynasty, it adopts a wooden, hip and style of roof with cyan glazed tiles. Inside the hall is the statue of the deity of Mount Iguli, along with 32 colored paintings of founding ministers of the Ming Dynasty on the left, right, and rear walls. Behind the main hall is the dressing hall, where emperors and officials changed into proper attire to perform rituals. Behind the dressing hall is the hall of incense receiving, where local officials stored sacrificial offerings and incense. At the very rear is the sleeping chamber, where the mountain deity and his ladies rest. The statues of these deities are apparently new. More than 10 steles are housed in the corridors on the east and west side of the Hall of Incense Preparation in the main hall. The ruined structures on the east and west flanks of the central axis are currently under reconstruction. On the east rear side of the mountain gate, there used to be a Buddhist temple of longevity. Now, only the foundation remains, flanked by several Ming and Qing steles. To the east of the temple site is the Hall of Guanyin, which has recently been restored. On the west side of the mountain gate, there used to be a hall of Dharma protection and a hall of the fox deity. Temples of the earth god, the city god, and Taoist deities on the north side of the bell tower and drum tower no longer survive. Beijing Temple preserves a total of 56 deities from the Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasties. These steles are invaluable historical sources for scholarly research on the cultural and religious history of Beijing, and are supplemented by more than 10 steles that have been recently relocated to the temple from nearby locations. Besides its relation to state sacrifice, Beijing Temple have been closely associated with Taoism, Buddhism, and local cults. During the Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasties, the abbots of Beijing Temple were usually Taoists. During the Qing dynasty, the temple was sometimes managed by Buddhist monks, and a hall of meditation and the temple of longevity were subordinated to the main temple. Local people also came to the temple to give offerings to the mountain deity, local deities, and bodhisattvas. Today, Beijing Temple is a major historical and cultural site under state protection, and it is governed by local administrations. As a thousand-year-old historical site that has enjoyed unsurpassed glory, 
witnessed tumultuous upheavals and experienced both prosperity and decline. Beijing Temple continues to shine through its rich religious, cultural, and historical heritage. Beijing 那这边碑文也不少那些碑呢都是从北镇境内收集过来的嗯另外我想问一个问题啊就是当代在北镇庙里面咱们还有没有什么祭祀啊信仰的活动啊因为北镇庙呢是八八年的国家级重点文物保护单位嗯不是宗